Greetings YouTubers, Charles Edgar Hampton here on behalf of the Variety Tube channel and today what I'm going to do is be setting up a uh, sound system in my master bathroom. The very first thing that I did was I cut off all of the connectors from my power supply. Alright, so um, certain ones I left intact because I didn't want to have to clip all the wires off. Um, and so long as they're not plugged into anything, they shouldn't be uh, reacting with anything. So these, I just left them as is. I'm going to fold those back and put them into there. So anyway, I of course stripped off, alright, and twisted together. Um, but of course you can already note and see that they are all separated, looking weird. Um, in other words, they're not cohesive. If you refer back to the picture of the amplifier, all right, you have a space that's probably this wide where all these plugs need to fit. And um, in order for you to do that, I'm going to be using all right, cable ties to put everything together. So I'm going to go and get started on that. That way you have all of your black together. Um, of course, all of your yellows together. Alright, um, I've already paired the green wire, alright, from the motherboard, the main motherboard connector, to one of the black wires, alright, again, from the main motherboard connector. Alright, this will let the power supply know that it's on once you activate the switch. Alright, that's on the back. So, um, right now what I'm going to do is take some time and go on and uh, compile all of these together into a manner in which they are compact and again can fit in an area of about an inch and a half because that is the challenge here. So, once I do that, um, then I'm going to be using, alright, some wire twists. Alright, to close it, but of course, again, clearly, with the yellow, it may not be that bad as far as to fit them all into one little port, but I don't want to take any chances. So what I'm going to do is use some ground connectors, alright, insert and twist through, okay, these, and I'll go back over that later. Um, but right now, just telling what I'm going to be doing in the future. So right now, let's bind these together so that they can fit in a section in an area where this can then be used. When you're putting your wires together, all right, start small. So in other words, notice I took one section, started there, took the black, put it together first. Once I put it together, all right, sorry about the fact that this isn't zooming or focusing quite where I want it to be. So, again, start, all right, from one particular section, put those wires together. Then, once you have those two, all right, together on each section, then put those two sections together. So, um, now these two are going to get twisted together. Um, notice I try to have corresponding lengths as well, depending on uh, whether you want to cut back. If you do cut back, and what I mean is if you do cut into this, all right, like I've done here. Let me get some light on the situation. All right. Then what you're going to have to do, and I'm going to clip those off, all right, but you're going to have to burn, all right, that. You can use a match or you can keep a candle going. That's what I did. And then, of course, just twist. All right, let it cool for like a second, all right, before you try to twist it with your fingers. Otherwise, you will um, burn plastic into your finger. And if anybody's ever done that before, it is rather painful because it doesn't cool off for a while. So anyway, again, now you see things are starting to get better organized uh, because, again, this is together. Um, all my black are twisted. All of my yellow... All right, are together, and then I'm going to continue. All right, let me get rid of this light now. All right, and I'm going to continue with this small section. Then I'm going to bunch them all again together. 
um, see what I can do with these otherwise as far as getting them out of the way. Try to clean it up a little bit more. Um, I'll also bunch these together back here. Um, and again, just try to clean it up. All right. Um, clearly, um, people that are probably doing this aren't so much interested in aesthetics. So um, you can always kind of put a cover over that, all of this. But of course, make sure that you have proper airflow. All right. In other words, the only thing that really needs to be sitting down is this bottom part. Of course, your exhaust needs to be clear. All right. The little grills that are on the side need to be clear. And of course, your intake on the top needs to be clear. Um, just letting you think about it. So again, I'm going to continue to clean this up. I'm going to snip these all right, longer parts off and uh, just keep making them great and beautiful. Alright, so now we're getting to be a lot more manageable. Alright, if you notice again, all of the black are bunched together. Get some light. Alright, so all the black are bunched together. All the yellow are bunched together. Um, this is a striped one. I know that looks weird. So I might have be seeing that black, but it's a yellow and black stripe. I will test these on a, um, and did double check. Alright, do not hesitate. To go online and double check, go to your manual of your power supply and make sure you know the voltages that are coming out, all right, of your wires. All right, I did double check. So again, what I'm now going to do is just try to clean this up, bunch all this together. Um, just try to clean it up a little bit, all right, and um, be using some more cable ties and uh, I feel pretty good about this. So let's continue to clean it up. I'm going to put a couple of more on there and I'm good with what I have. So i got one tie here, another tie here. I put a band right here. All right. Um, again, the reason I left these on, I didn't want too many loose wires hanging around. Uh, you could cap them off if you want it to be, you know, ultra secure. I'll probably just throw some electrical tape on there. Um, I have every connection out, all right, not bound, so I can always see what's what. Now, if you notice, there are a lot of um, ground, all right, lots of ground wires. What I think I'm going to end up doing, all right, is splitting this off into two sections. Um, there aren't as many, all right, 12 volt yellows, so that can all fit into one rather easily, all right. I'm using the super duper large <laughs> all right, uh, wire connectors, wire twists, if you want to call them that. And so, again, it's time to get started on the next phase. All right, and in this one, I'm going to be bunching. All right, like I said, try to separate my black into two sections and um, bunch them up in that way. And let's go. All right, so what I did is I took a piece, all right, I cut a piece of wire from, all right, some Romex, okay, it's approximately, I don't know, three inches long. Um, I cut about an inch and a half, all right, as far as insulation off of it, so it goes throughout, and this one is clear longer if this is an inch and a half. It's probably about an inch and a quarter for anybody who wants to be a smart aleck. Moving on forward. So an inch and a half, inch and a quarter, whatever. of The insulation has been cut off. All right, then is insulation. And then, of course, this is what's going to be plugged into. All right, so what I did was I took a piece of Romex wire. All right, that's approximately three inches long. All right, I stripped off enough insulation so that it will go completely down in there. I'll probably do a little bit more for this one. Alright. And um, stuck it through the connector first. So in other words, take your connector. I keep calling the connector or whatever. Your wire twist. Alright. Put the wire down and I will record this on another one. So just give me a second. So anyway, push it in there. Take your wires together. Put it all in there, twist it. What I'm also going to do, all right, is um, yeah. 
All right. So, again, take a little piece of insulation, a little bit more off. All right, that goes down there good ways. All right. So, taking these, bunching them together. All right, keeping in mind, trying to let them all be kind of in the same or in at the same rate. That was the whole point of lining them up with the twist ties. Make sure that your wire is pressed down all the way. That's the whole point of it. Twist. Twist until you get it snug. Don't over tighten. And you're in there. So again, if you notice, you're going about the same distance. And of course, you can cut off and snip as needed. I'm going to cut another piece of um, black Romex just so I can keep everything consistent. And I'll be back. Alright, so last but not least, again, taking it. Alright, so I have to shorten up the other ones. That Again, that's fine. Have enough. See how far it'll go down. Alright, taking these. Try to keep them thin. Alright, or in other words, compressed. So that way they can get in there. And get up in there with the metal. And with all the other wires, push everything down. All right, and push everything up. That seems solid. So now I have my um, three connections. Now realizing what I see now is that this yellow needs to come out a significant bit more, which that's going to be okay. So I can cut and strip these two. Um, so it can kind of match up. Really hate that it's a little short, but um, it won't be the end of the world. And that'll be good enough. Alright, got my two black. Got my yellow. Alright, or positive in this case. And I have my remote. And that's going to be it. So. Again, now I was trying to chop these down, try to get them all even as possible. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. Crank it off about right there. Please don't shoot uh, copper into your eye. Won't be my fault. I have to come a little bit off of this one, maybe a little hair more. May not be necessary, but. Just want to make sure that there's enough in there so they can both get in there and both touch. Again, looking really nice. All right, let's take a little hair off of this one. And now we are good. Um, next part, take a bolt meter. Test exactly what's getting put out. All right, so take my power supply. I'm gonna plug it up. Yes, I'm being ginger about this because uh, this is a 
electricity. That's wonderful. Loads up. Got my green power on light. Alright, green power on. So now, let's see exactly what's going on over here. Just a regular old voltmeter. Cutting it on, I'll turn it on for you all to see. I'm gonna go from black to here. Twenty six. All right, now I've got the amplifier over here. I've unplugged. I also took the time to use a compressed air can and dusted the crap out of my power supply. I did that before, but when I was looking, uh, I saw there was still some dust in there. So take your time with the compressed air all right, duster and get it all out of there. All right, right now I'm about to go on and um, hook this up. So, not that you can see. I guess the whole point of this, so give me a second. Alright, shout out for the crotch shot that you just got. Sorry. Moving on forward. Um, as I was saying, going on and hooking my positive up where it needs to be. My remote. I think I'm gonna do with this remote one. I'm gonna double it. Taking it. Gonna make it even shorter, of course, but. All I'm looking for, and there is no, no power LED. Okay, I was going to say, there's got to be a power indicator light here. Okay, I got it turned off first, plugging in my power supply, giving that a moment, and let's hope for the best. Sweet. Blue power light. We are good. So I'm going to cut this off now. Unplug the power supply. Turn the switch back on to get rid of any residual power. Because if you know anything about power supplies, they hold a lot of juice. And you don't want to have anything to do with that.